So what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Redmi Note 4 the middle running on MIUI 10 Android 7.0 Nougat to Android 8.1.0. So this is a follow up video for the Poco F1 video which I made like two days ago. And this is actually the China beta ROM with Play Store and stuff, everything working. So you do get more features than your normal global stable or global beta, which has been not even arrived for Redmi Note 4 yet. It would be November late. Many of you guys have been asking me, but this is amazing. The phone feels much faster than before and it's Android 8.1 Oreo, which is again, amazing thing cause Xiaomi just cruise everyone each and every single year with late releases on a later version of Android. Now I really hope Xiaomi doesn't release Redmi Note 6 with Android Oreo cause that would be extremely shameful after the the release of Android Pie has been like for two months. So let's just keep that aside and take a look. So over here, as you can see your normal home screen, you do get Xiaomi assistant and stuff cause uh, yeah, they do have it in China. And this is based on Mi 8 Lite, yes. It's just amazing that developer has ported both of these ROMs with minimal amount of bugs, which are kind of the same over here. So for example, just in the Poco F1 and this ROM, the bugs are completely the same. The LED notification light doesn't work cause we do have a different one. This is an RGB one and then Xiaomi just switched to a brighter white one. The bottom LED lights don't actually work cause both of the devices which have been ported don't actually have a hardware button. So yeah, no hardware keys. Again, one bug that I found was the screen timer. So for example, the brightness slider for most part, it just works fine. But on to this location over here, it just goes to the full bright as you can see over there. So once the phone screen times out after like 10 to 15 seconds, instead of going dark, it goes completely bright. Now you can just completely turn it off. So you don't have this bug at all, but still that's one thing to be noted. And then another feature, which is not part of Redmi Note 4, but custom ROM users might be loving it, which is face unlock. So face unlock actually registers, but it just doesn't work cause both of the devices actually have an IR sensor, which will need a bit of a more modding, but I surely hope that developer fixes it. But let's just take a look around the ROM. So for example, the app opening times and the performance is just amazing. Also, as this is Android 8.1 Oreo, it has AI preloading. So for example, if I just open any kind of app, for example, I have just opened security and contacts for the next few minutes, it would just open like any Snapdragon 855 or 865 phone. It's just blazing fast how the apps open. You can just again clear it through the RAM, go to the app again and it just opens extremely quick. Then you have some of the apps over here such as uh, Camera Ingo. I don't know why developer added but must be a good camera app. Then you have Dolby, Walkman, and Viper for Android. Yeah, this developer does really care about his songs and audio. So he has given like almost two equalizers. Same goes for the Poco ROM. You also have Walkman for listening your favorite music and also the speaker volume is much louder than your stock Redmi Note 4 which is amazing. Then you have Magix Manager, Root Explorer, just a file manager. Then you have Kernel Auditor, don't touch that if you don't know what it is. And then the Google Camera. Now this is the older one, but you can definitely use the Google Pixel 3's camera as this is based off Android 8.1. But if you want to take portrait mode pictures, there you go. Developers got you covered. Then you have Mi Wallet and stuff, just your basic things. Go into the camera, yep, it definitely works. You also have AI camera which is working. You have flash and stuff, torch, again. As this is ported from Mi 8 Lite, which is a Snapdragon 660 phone, it's extremely surprising how seamless it works. Then again, you have video over here, you can record 4K video. The ported board is not actually working over here. So again, you have Gcam for it. Then you have panorama, manual and stuff, just amazing. Go into the settings, you have my device. So in my device, Again, the specs over here are not actually correct. If you go to all specs, Android version 8.10, like these are the dreams running over here right now. So let's just get to the installation of this. So the prerequisites over here are, I most of the time say you will need a bit of a custom ROM knowledge, but nothing is needed over here. The developer has made it extremely straightforward and easy. So you will need a PC and a unlocked bootloader. Now this is a two year old phone. Unlocking this phone's bootloader, it's extremely easy. You can just Google it and let's just go to the PC now. So once you have turned your PC, you will need these three files. Yes, just three files. I have made this extremely simple to explain. So the ADB folder, the ROM that you want to install, it could be the Mi 8 Lite or the Poco F1 and the custom recovery. So let's just get started. First of all, grab your Redmi Note 4 and take a whole backup of it cause we would be buying the internal storage. So once you have backed up your phone, just go to the fast boot mode by pressing power and volume down at the same time. This is the same thing that you did to unlock your bootloader. Once you are in the fast boot mode, just connect the phone to your PC and keep it aside. Go to the ADB folder, open CMD and type in fast boot devices. Hit enter. If it shows a random number and fast boot, that means your device has been connected. Then type in fast boot flash recovery. Then just drag this recovery in and hit enter. 
There you go, your device has been successfully installed with the custom recovery. Then just go to your phone and press your power and volume up at the same time and it shows the MI logo. Once you are into the recovery, just go to wipe, format data, type in yes. Now our phone is successfully decrypted. Then just wipe all the partitions would be advanced wipe, dialvic system, vendor, data, cache. Nothing else needed. Swipe to wipe. Now our phone is completely clean. Once you do that, just go to this PC and check whether the phone is mounted. So if the phone is mounted, you will see the internal storage. Just go inside it. It would be clean. Then again, go to your phone, go to backup and just backup anything like just the system, which would be nothing. Go home, refresh your internal storage. There you go. Twop, go to backups. Just go to the parent folder. Just delete everything inside this. And then you have to grab your favorite ROM, extract files. Once the ROM has been extracted, just open it and copy all of the files inside to the Redmi Note 4. And yes, those who have been wondering, all the networkings and Volti is actually working. Now the stability for Airtel or any kind of another Volti rather than Geo is quite questionable, but it surely works. Now that the phone has been done with everything, just again swipe to unlock, reboot system, do not install, and congrats, you have been successfully installed Android 8.1 Oreo MIUI 10 on your Redmi Note 4. And the phone is finally back up. Another thing that I actually forgot to tell you guys is before if you are coming through a custom ROM, don't actually sign out through a Mi account. Yes, if you actually completely clean flash this ROM and if you don't have a Mi account existed in your phone, you might get Find My Device not working and just various types of bugs. So do remind that when you install this ROM, just sign into a Mi account by just installing any kind of latest global beta ROM. That would be extremely helpful. And then let's just go to Wi-Fi, click OK, Devang Patil, activate the device. Sign in with your me password and then I will just complete the setup quickly and voila you're in and yeah guys that's pretty much it on how you can upgrade your Redmi Note 4 to Android 8.1 Oreo running on MIUI 10. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you found this helpful please drop a like be sure to subscribe for more content like this which you would find anywhere else in English at least and that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one peace.